All right, guys. So um, a little bit, a little bit about my background. Um, when I first started off in tech, I was a recruiter, and I found that a lot of young startups were ending up in this in this wormhole, and the wormhole was the fact that they all wanted the latest and greatest technologies, but they needed people who were experts in them, right? And that's just the way it is. As a startup, you don't have like what Oracle has, which is like, I believe that they actually have a training division. So anytime a new hire comes on, these people are taking Java courses, you know, they're they're being molded into the, the Oracle code base. Oracle has about, uh, I believe, I believe it's like anywhere from like 10 to 20,000 employees and they have a massive office in Redwood City so they they can get away with stuff like that um, for startups you just can't you need people who are certified experts hired guns who can just who are just in a position where they can they can throw down immediately right um, now what what people are falling into pitfalls they're like yeah you know we want python ruby on rails we want uh we we want python guys you know python angular uh it's going to be ruby on rails or angular if you know anything angular doesn't work well with ruby because ruby was not designed for single page applications um so so you basically have to do a hack around and very few guys know how to do it and even fewer guys know how to do it well so, and then there's a cost effect to that, right? So what you're dealing with at that stage is you're dealing with guys like, okay, if you want Python, MongoDB, um, those, those types of people are going to cost you $160,000 per year. If you only have a uh, what's it called um, if you only have a million dollars in VC funding in your bank account that's not that's not a good go I mean you're spending you're gonna have to spend 160 a year plus the recruiting fee to get that guy that's a two hundred thousand dollar hire right and what's more than likely gonna happen is you're gonna be overworking this guy because you can't hire more than one people and then he's probably gonna bail on you because there's just gonna be too many people pitching that guy um, who are gonna be pitching that guy trying to get that guy to use their brand use to, to join onto their team right because you're overworking him and you're not as cool as Google who's seeking that technology so rather than going after the latest and greatest technology you know uh, one strategy to adopt would be to utilize a tested technology where you're gonna find a lot of people but then use something that's newer that everybody that's people are wanting to utilize but it but it's really easy to use so um, for instance for the warrior board um, we originally were going to do a mean stack development. I know how to do Mongo, Express, Angular, and Node.js, which is the mean stack. But the deal is, I was thinking to myself, I was like, well, I know how to do this, but let's say I get to the point where I need to be working on partnerships and I can't focus on development. Like, a good mean stack developer costs like 160 to 200K per year. Like I'm not, I'm not in a position to front that kind of capital. So what I wound up doing was I did some research in the LA area and I was like, okay, well, how much do Ruby on Rails engineers cost? They're still expensive. And most Ruby on Rails engineers who are pretty good know the fact that they're in high demand and they're typically not fun people to be around. <laughs> so that uh, that was that <laughs> on 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 that one. So uh, I kept looking, I kept searching. Then I was like, well, well why not PHP? It, I mean, it, it's it's the e, it was the it was the original. Well, it was one of the first server side languages that was developed for the web. So I know that it's a tested technology, and it's not gonna be uh, it, it's not gonna necessarily be a horrible experience to utilize, and 
the thing is, if I needed a PHP developer, I can get two. Uh, I I could get like two seasoned guys for the price of one okay, um, uh, you know, Node.js developer. And what I decided to do to sweeten the pot would be to, to make somebody interested in wanting to, to, to join on board if we decided to move there was, I'm like, okay, well, instead of using MySQL, which is the common database, or SQL, I'm going to use a NoSQL database. Um, so I decided to go with MongoDB, and Mongo actually works really seamlessly with PHP. Um, and then with PHP, the cool part is you can still uh, use all of the popular uh, APIs, Facebook, Google, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, I believe Twitch, it's pretty easy to use that API as well. So anything you want to do, you can still do it. And Laravel um, has a very um, great platform, so it's not like you're, you're walking into a crap technology sector now i i've been i've been listening to a lot of guy kawasaki lately i think he's brilliant and you know and i think that you should hire rock stars i don't feel you should settle but you know for me ultimately getting a php rock star is going to be a whole lot easier than getting a fucking mean stack developer because if 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 I needed five PHP guys right now, I'm I'm more than confident. Yeah, I, I am more than confident in the fact that I could easily easily find uh, five or six of those guys. But if I wanted, like, uh, oh shit. Uh, I killed the guy, but you know, if I needed five Node.js guys, that that would never happen. <laughs> I mean, it would, but it would cost me a lot of money, almost more. Yeah, so so that, that was just my my two cents on the matter. Um, you know, don't 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 go after the latest and greatest if you can't afford the latest and greatest, right? If you have a million dollars in your pot, you know, still hire the rock stars, still hire really good people, still hire you know if a list talent, but don't. Don't try to reach after people who are going to cost you way too much goddamn money, and that, and and ultimately, you're not going to be able to scale at that rate because if it takes you two months to make a hire, and I understand, you know, not being able to scale fast enough is uh, is not an issue, but not being able to ship in time is an issue. And if you only have one developer who's a quote unquote rock star, but <laughs> he has no support. It, it, your your software isn't your technology is not gonna scale fast enough. Whatever you're deciding to do. Um, we have a traffic camp feed on a white box so yeah, that that was road. my advice on that one. I see that we have some people in the chat room. Uh, please uh, retweet the tweet that brought you in, and if you have any questions, let me know.